Hey there, I am a Filipino teenager called Josh. You might as well know me from the Odd Bunch along with Seth, Gilbert, and G Gregory. I've met the first muscle gram. He was really, really strong. He had realistic muscles and a mystique muscular human. I was running in circles so fast I almost lost my sanity. I then passed out, but the only thing I saw random stuff that shaped like a opitogram hearts that just randomly pitches out, pitches out and of color. One hour later, I then woke up and ended up in a color blind. However, I, until I realized my neon color was blue, I quickly ran to my shack and tell everyone that I was heavily harmed with by muscle gram. What are you, blue? Asked Seth, stuttering. I began to explain that I was blue and it took one hour because I was stuttering every time I said a word. You have to say that bottle of whiskey or you'll revert back to normal, said Gilbert. After finishing playing his favorite game, Pac-Man, okay, maybe later, I said to Gilbert. However, Gregory was busy cleaning named the sofa. But what about the vacation? I said. Then everyone said, oh, we almost forgot. Then we booked, booked a, to Euro Tunnel to travel to Poland. And it was then Musclegram was going nuts, killing lots of corruptions except us. When we have gone to Port Poland, land, land, um, Euro Tunnel, we visited Warsaw, Balabiska, and Mosjeski. We then had a lot of apartment and room in a hotel, Grumbasi. I'm sorry if I misspelled that. I have bad Polish, but Polish. But we also so have gone over to the restaurants in Pisa, Rykusi, and Marzi. We stayed in Poland for three weeks, and then we got returned to the Dataverse, which turned blue. Maybe a Malekasis or a muscle board exploded? Who knows? However, Gilbert noticed that there were blueberries on the way on the blue paint. We all knew it was blueberry pie that exploded. Then we cracked up for hours and hours, and then the blue paint was all cleared up. The end. I know it. W I know this was short. And that, my little pretties, was Muscle Man Graham Goes Nuts. A um, I guess you could kind of say a Roblox um funny pasta. I guess you could say that. Written by Stick of Glory. Dick Stick of Glory, thank you so much for writing this story. Thank you so much for letting me read this story. This was appreciated. I really enjoyed it. So, my final thoughts on the story. This I know this is a funny pasta, and it says not to be taken seriously, which I am going to be doing such. Now, this story was funny. It was honestly so funny that I honestly was really laughing. It was just funny. It was well made in detail. It was awesome. Really have to say that the story was pretty funny. Now, I know it's a short story, so I'm not going to make the review as long as, well, I normally would do. But I could definitely say that this one, I know it's a funny pasta. It was hilarious. Like, I had to sit there and try not to laugh when I was recording this in the past. But I kept laughing so hard that I had to keep multiple rereads until I got it from my damn skull that I can read this without laughing. It was just so funny, people. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys are all laughing thing right now at this funny pasta. So I definitely have to say, um, Stick of Glory, not a bad funny pasta. Like, if you want to write more funny pastas, I suggest you take a look at Matthew Bumford's um, funny pastas to get inspiration or something. Because, let me tell you right now, Matthew Bumford writes pretty good funny pastas. I really like his funny pastas. I do plan to read one of them, I believe, but not really sure when I'll be able to read one of his, but I do plan to. So anyways, I guess that's all I have to say. But anyway, uh, the story actually was pretty funny for what it is. It was awesome, really well made in detail, really like it. It had a pretty good concept going for it. So I definitely have to say, I definitely like how everything went out. It was amazing. Well made. It obviously has a pretty good, good concept going for. I definitely have to say that this story actually was pretty awesome for what it is. It actually provided a pretty good detail for the concept. Now, I definitely have to say the grammar was good. It does need to be a little bit worked on because I did notice some grammatical errors and I think there was a few punctuation errors in the story. So that's kind of why, um, well... 
my kind of stuttered a bit at some parts, but I'm pretty sure, you know, that they could be fixed up and I don't think it would be a issue fixing them. But I definitely have to say it's a really well made story. Really good. I really liked it. And to be honest, I honestly found this pasta to be rather enjoyable, well made in detail. Now, the grammatical errors and punctuation errors can be fixed up a little bit, but other than that, the story actually provided pretty good detail. So I definitely have to say, really good job, Stick of Glory. This was awesome. This was well made in detail. Now, I know this video, well, review is not, you know, as long as I would, you know, expect it to be. But I definitely have to say the way, you know, Musclegram, you know, loses his mind and goes crazy. Oh my god, it was just really silly. It was really awesome. Like, I love how funny pastas, you know, sit there and put time and effort into them. Like, I know there's some, most times people put time and effort. Like, I know some people go out of their way and do that. But this was honestly really well made in detail. It was funny. It was awesome. Really like it. So, I guess that's all I have to say. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review. Because there's not really much for me to say. I don't have any negatives to say about it. The only thing I could suggest is maybe have the grammatical errors and punctuation errors um, fixed up. But, other than that, it's a pretty good story. So, I guess that's probably all I have to say. But, I'm going to say this and wrap this up as best I can. Now, the story itself was really good. I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty good concept. Like the story of where it's going for. Really awesome, well made. Really flat out awesome. Really like it. So anyways, um, yeah. I'm gonna sit here and say this right now, that this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you happen to disagree with me, that is fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these um, creepypastas, and this is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of the story would have to be a 9 out of 10. I know I'm saying creepy pasta. I'm going to say my final rating of this funny pasta is a 9 out of 10. It was pretty funny. It was really well made. It was silly. It was awesome. The grammatical errors and the punctuation errors can be fixed up. But other than that, it's still a pretty good pasta. I actually found this pasta to be rather enjoyable. It was amazing. Really well made. Really do like what this story was going for. It was pretty awesome for what it is. I really definitely have to say that I really do enjoy this story. So I guess that's kind of all I have to say about this story. It's pretty good. Really well made. Really like it. So I guess I'm going to sit here and say this right now. And like I always continue to say. Um, what did you guys think about this curry pasta? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? And also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you happen to be brand new here on this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm 